So hello! For today's video, I will tell you how to get police clearance as a first-time job seeker. So these are the requirements. First, barangay clearance. Second, barangay certificate. Also known as first-time job seeker certificate. Yan pong barangay clearance and barangay certificate is makukuha nyo po pareha sa barangay nyo. Cedula varies, so magready po kayo ng extra money. Third is two valid IDs. Must be original, not photocopied, not expired. LTO driver's license, PRC ID or license, school ID with registration form, IBP ID, PCG ID, BJMP ID, Marina ID, Pag-ibig ID, OFW ID, Alien Certificate of Registration, Birth Certificate, NSO or PSA, Passport, SSSID or UMID, Teen ID, PWID, Voters ID, Philelt ID, PNP ID, Postal ID, Senior Citizen ID. So ako, ang pinakita ko is driver's license and photocopy ng PSA, birth certificate. Uh, nagdala din ako ng original, kaya nung hinanap sa akin, yun, pinakita ko na lang. I'm not sure with the online application, but with my experience kasi, I was required to pay 59 pesos um, for the cedula. Hindi ako pinakuha ng OR since may barangay certificate, certificate nga ako also known as first-time job seeker certificate. Uh, they asked me then if I want to avail the ID. It costs around 200. Um, it looks like this. Ayan, as you can see. So, um, kumuha ako since I'm curious to know what it looks like and para magkaroon din ako ng idea kung ano yun. But, I think hindi siya worth it. <laughs> Kasi, uh, yung validity niya is for six months lang. But if kulang ka sa ID, I think mm, this, is this is your opportunity to get one. So, nasa sa'yo na kung kukuha ka. So, these are the steps. First, fill out the form. Of course, you'll fill out the form with your basic information. Name, address, date of birth, etc. Second, wait for your turn just in case there's line third give them your form and all the requirements dito if they will ask about something regarding your information fill them in if there's typo sa info mo correct it or address it immediately sa kanila fourth biometrics kukunan ka ng thumbprint e-signature and photo capture so better be ready fifth wait you just have to wait to get your police clearance and id if you avail it so, for the frequently asked questions, um, is personal appearance required? Yes, of course. They'll get your biometrics kasi like um, your fingerprints, uh, signature, and picture. So, kailangan nyo talaga pumunta doon. So, second, need pa ba na online appointment? No, not necessarily. Uh, like me, basta lang ako pumunta sa munisipyo namin to get the police clearance and I was accommodated. Gaano katagal makuha? Well, um, police clearances are released on the same day of the application, tulad nung sa akin. Um, I just waited for about 5 to 10 minutes kasi syempre ipiprint pa nila yung clearance and ID. So, ganun siya katagal. Fourth, kailan pwede kumuha ng police clearance? Of course, during weekdays, a.m. or p.m., uh, Monday to Friday. So that's all for today's video. I hope na tulungan ko kayo. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. If my experiences din kayo na you wish to share, why not, di ba? So subscribe, like, and share. Sa mga kapwa ko na first-time job seeker and nagja-job hunting, good luck. Good luck sa journey nyo. I wish you'll get the job na deserve nyo. Uh, sa mga nakakuha na, galingan natin sa work. Laban. <laughs> all the best. So, that's all. Bye-bye. Stay safe. And be happy. Be happy lang. Bye-bye.